That is one big airbag. Well, lucky we passed the quarantine, mate. Let's go. WA, hit the road. WA, mate. Woo -hoo -hoo. They reckon the best is in the West. Woohoo! Baby, WA, we passed the border. Woohoo! Just carry my seat. Smell. Before we show you a few little sites of Perth, we found this. Um, we know that's about, what is that? What's it called? Harbour Coffee Works. Look at that. Hey guys, now for all you coffee lovers out here, we are in West Australia in Perth and we've rocked up to the Coffee Works in uh, the Swan Valley. And we're just going to take you through what they do with the coffee beans and how they come out ready to be uh, ground and made to give you that beautiful cup of coffee. So um, let's go and have a look, eh? This? Now, these are all the coffees we have available for tastings. Yep. And as you can see, there's two types, single origins and blends. You like strong, sweet? I like strong. I like espresso. Espresso? Straight. Straight. Can, right. I try the, can I try the fruity one? Of course you can, And yeah. then the, like the medium kind of one? Like yeah. So this one's already pre-brewed, the specialty. A lot of people tend to want to taste it. You reckon lucky? It's really it's nice, yeah. Alright, let's see I got none, I'm waiting for my tea. It's different. Oh, and did you get the fruity one? Yeah, 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 this one here, yeah. It's not like it's strong on the coffee side. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah mate, what was the name of the next one? X-rated. Okay, <laughs> I'm you need to go now. Okay. <laughs> Tea tasting as well. Tea tasting as well. Yeah, called tea toast. So that's called the caramel tea. It's a black tea. Yep. Yeah. Let me know how that goes. Well, we're all going for the tea, eh? How do you, you have the tea? Do you have a go? Oh, the sip of rock. Why not? Oh, that smells good. But wait, which one's this? Caramel. Is it hot? Oh, that's them wow. raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, right now, the the coffee's turning to kind of yellowish, caramelly, and this is supposed to be the end result. So that's where it starts, that colour? Yeah. And then it gets roasted and then it goes and it goes to that colour. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah. cool. And so, uh, it really depends on the coffee. So sometimes we stop the roast around here. Yep. And sometimes we uh, the coffees are really better being a darker roast, more wow. bolder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you turn this on, yep. which uh, turns on the vacuum and Ah oh, and they get in. sucked in there. Yeah, you put it in awesome. there. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, and so right nice now they're roasting yep. right here with these three arms. So there's a cooling chamber. 
Yeah, wow. So that's where they get dropped off after the roast. Yep. And the cooling chamber actually helps lock in all those sugars and caramels, preventing them from over roasting. So, God, I don't know if you find this fascinating, but I've always been fascinated because I love my coffee. How, how it comes to the beans, <laughs> basically, and this. Uh, we're going to run through exactly how that happens from the green beans being roasted now as you can see in the background uh, and coming out ready basically ready to go and be packaged and brought home to uh, drink at home so it should be just interesting yeah so I'm watching um, kind of uh, the temperature of the beans themselves so yeah. uh, we're measuring it uh, just in the front of the roaster here and then essentially measuring like how how quickly they're gaining heat, uh, so the rate the rate that they gain heat, um, and just trying to match match them up, match that up from their reference roast and from our um, profile roast. That's what we do. Ryan. Ryan. All right. Cool. So, uh, we like to get groups around the roaster and give you a bit more of a picture of what happens in the roasting process. Uh, mostly we find people come to Yahava and you know a bit about roasted coffee or how you like your coffee, but not necessarily how it all happens, right? So, uh, to start at the start, uh, coffee is the seed of a fruit. Uh, so, it grows on a coffee tree in the form of a coffee cherry uh, at origin or where it's grown. Uh, they'll hand pick all the coffee cherries, they take all the fruit off the outside and dry the beans in the sun to about 12% moisture which is stable for shipping and storage so it won't go mouldy or grow fungus or anything like that in the sacks. Uh, and then this is what we get, these green beans. Now these are really really hard and dense, they're more like eating a stick or a piece of wood than anything else. Uh, so it's the roasting process that creates our flavours and aromatics. Um, and it does that, sorry one sec, uh, it does that essentially by caramelising all the natural sugars and causing the acids and enzymes and proteins in the coffee to react against each other, which creates new chemical compounds our body understands as flavour and aroma, right? Now, because of all those chemical changes throughout the course of the roast, uh, there's quite a build-up of carbon dioxide on the inside of each bean, uh, as well as a build-up of pressure from the leftover moisture turning to steam. So they get to the point where they swell up and pop open or crack open, and that's a process that we call first crack lock in all the flavours that we've developed and generally get the heat out of these beans as quickly as we can. So underneath here is a fan and it's sucking air down into the roast. It's going to bring the coffee down from just over 200 degrees to room temperature in about five minutes. So really nice and quickly. Then through another machine called a de-stoner. The de-stoner works to take any of the stones or other foreign objects out of the coffee that might have been picked up during processing. Uh, so stones are quite common uh, because they dry the coffee on a big cement patio uh, most of the time. So when they go to scoop it up, it's understandable, they're going to grab some things here and there. Um, so stones being the most common. Uh, the next most common thing we find is uh, little bits of popcorn, um, likely because they're using the same drying beds for different crops throughout the year. Uh, and then, uh, as you can see, it's not the only thing. So uh, this is a welding rod. Uh, we've also seen uh, coins and keys, screws, glass, nails, teeth, uh, all sorts. Uh, so none of it goes very well through your coffee grinder. Uh, it doesn't, definitely doesn't make your coffee taste any better. Uh, so we do our best to get it out for you. Now. Once it has been de-stoned from there, essentially it's ready for drinking. It will keep on getting better over the next week or two, as all the gas that built up in the roasting process works its way out of the coffee and allows the water to work its way into the coffee better. Uh, that way you get a fuller flavour through your brew. So it's certainly enjoyable at this point, but best in 7, 10, 14 days. That, usually that second week of its life is where it hits its peak. Uh, and then from there you've got you know, 6 to 8 or so weeks to use it while it's at its best. All right, uh, and then just to finish with a couple of numbers. So this is a 25 kilogram capacity drum roaster. Uh, we do 22 kilos at a time and that gives us a bit of extra room for airflow and it helps us to get some of those smoky gases out of our roast. We roast between 180 and 210 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. And currently we're sitting pretty comfortably around 1,000 kilos a week. Well, thank you very much for that. You're very welcome, not a worry. Not. Good to know where the coffee has made, where it comes from. <laughs> Thanks, mate.
Uh, yeah. So good. Nice. Yeah. And I've got the Ethiopian coffee. Ethiopian. What have you got, Clay? I'm going iced latte. Iced latte. I don't know what coffee it is. Though. And she told me to buy one of these to share. Right. What's the lucky girl? What have you got, mate? Mm -hmm. That was red velvet or that was carrot. Dad picked. Oh, that's just good carrot. I love red velvet. Oh, it did look really good. Carrot. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Man, I'm gonna be, my brain's gonna be zinging tonight. All the coffee I've had today. that for mum, eh? Yeah, what do you reckon? Put in a request, what do you think? Jump on a plane all by yourself. Yeah. Going back to Brizzy, back to Toowoomba, mate. Life and all that sort of stuff, so definitely come back. Yeah. We uh, learned how the beans got made, the coffee beans, how they got roasted. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Old trip. I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna miss you. Yeah. It's been great having you. Back, over with me. Back to work, especially do it doing that trip over in the road on the road, mate. That was great. Yeah. And uh, we had a few little challenges across the road, uh, along the road, but we got through them. Yeah. Mr. Kangaroo. That's right. And uh, and you're going home hopefully to get your Jeep. That's right, hopefully. Yeah. Fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah, it should be hopefully next week, mate. So, uh, anyway. It's been really good. I've, I've really had a good time with you, mate. So, thanks. Thanks for everything. And uh, I'm going to miss you.